All right. Let's go right to what uh, people, people teach, you go to church to learn how to sin. You go to church and you're taught in church, in your church. I don't care what church, church of God, Christ, Baptist, Benedict, whatever. You are taught to sin. They teach you to sin. I would talk to an elder. Oh, God, he's so vain. He meant no harm, but he's so, ooh, Lord. I say, yeah, you teach him all the sin. Say, okay, nobody, don't nobody have to teach you to sin. I didn't say that. I say, you teach him folks to sin. I want the fifth chapter of the book of Matthew. In your church, you you want you want to learn how to see it? Go to your church. Then some say you, 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 I begin to be too. You don't have to teach folks how to do wrong. Yes, you do. Who teach you how to steal a car? Who teach you how to cheat on your income tax? Who teach that? How to slip and tip and have a side piece and a wife. Who taught you that? Anyway, come on, come on, come on. Watch this. Watch this. Look what Jesus said. Matthew 5, verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, just one of them. And shall teach men so. You break them and you teach men to break them. Shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall teach them. Teach men keep the commandment. Don't break the commandment. Don't sin. Shall and teach them. Do you do and teach them. Don't be terrible. Don't do something. You do it. The same shall be greater in the kingdom of heaven. Well, I say unto you, except your right to see that the righteousness of the scribe and the Pharisee, ye shall know why they're in the kingdom of heaven. Scribe and Pharisee, hallelujah, teaching folks to sin by their action and by their teaching. They show taught folks that don't believe Jesus. They taught that don't believe Jesus. They taught that. Teach them to break Jesus' the command. That Matthew 5, verse 19. That Revelation chapter 2 and verse 14. These are the words of Jesus. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast them there that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel and to eat these cycle right to idol and to commit fornication? They were taught that by leadership. All right, you say ain't nobody without sin, you teach the folks to sin. You teach the folks don't repent, ain't nobody without sin. You say ain't nobody perfect. You teach the folks that don't even be perfect. I saw a post on Facebook, God bless them. They say the reason God showed you your imperfection is so you could correct them. Why you ain't perfect? Oh, you know why you're saying that. Now correct it so you can be perfect. Hallelujah. Glory. You teach it, men. You want to learn how to see it? Go to church. Look at your bishop bringing false prophet among us. Playing money games in the church. You teach, by, you teach them by your I don't care what you say. You teach them by your life. And you get some of them and talk to them in, 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 in private. They'll, they'll, they'll agree with the truth. But in public, they'll turn right around and teach false. And act false and break the commandment. And all those folly leadership, you're being taught to break Jesus' commandments. You're being taught that. 
You being taught. Yeah, ain't nothing over without sin. Well, ain't nobody public. If you ain't seen in the last five months, put, uh, 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 raise your hand. Then the preacher say, let me put my hand down. You teach the folks to see it. You teach the folks to break the you command. You ain't going to heaven. You better repent now. Thank you for being